Alejandra. Wait. Thank you. I know you do what's right in your heart, but you have to put your family first, Lam. Sometimes the face we show to the world needs to be one of strength, despite the chaos we harbor beneath. There's more to being the best than pure strength. That's an excuse for the weak. I'll show you who's weak. Well, at least the family is all together. I'll get more wine. so bad, was it? I can't believe I have a family again. The gods work in mysterious ways. You never know what they have planned. Someone's kept their eye on me. You're special! Look at the life they've blessed you with! Not so bad, if you think of it all. That's optimistic, considering. Just remember, no matter who surrounds you, I'll be there. And the others are waiting for us on the ship. Right behind you. Hmm. Nyx now holds sway.
Charge activated. Synchronizing retransmission chronosity. Contact engaged. Stay hidden if I don't want to fight. Behold, I've kept myself alive. It was the one job I gave you, Socrates. I knew you could handle it. I would have attempted it even if you hadn't told me to. It's not as easy as it seems, staying alive. There's not many of us left. Then let's pay tribute to them. Though they aren't here now, they were here once. Come with me. My opinion on death is a nebulous one because I know nothing about it. Therefore, I know I shouldn't be afraid. I'm not afraid either. Many are because they don't know what death holds for them. One can only trust that the gods know for certain.
be. Oh, she never got to be a little girl. I talked to her like she was already grown up. Which you did out of respect for her. Question your choices, Cassandra, but never doubt them. Thank you for giving her the burial she deserved. There are countless others here in Elysium. The blessed have earned that eternal happiness. One of them is our great Pericles. Athens owes him a debt for all he's done. They didn't call him the first citizen of Athens for nothing. A man of many contributions, but also a private man. If only he had shared his burden. We only knew him as he presented himself to be, but who's to say that wasn't his true self? This war has taken so many. Even Brasidas fell. Maybe so, but as a Spartan, he fulfilled his duty and died on the battlefield. I could have helped him more. He was on my side. Your survival avenges him. He will be honored as a hero. The people will remember how we brought down Cleon. Apparently, soldiers found Cleon on the beach. A casualty of war, perhaps? Couldn't say. It's hard to recall what happens in the heat of battle. Either way, let him spend his eternity in Tartarus for what he has done. And be certain, our friends wait for us in the light. I drink to that. Who am I to say no? <laughs> well, this has supplied me with plenty of new material for my next play. Remember how Cassandra took the monger to task for all of Corinth to see? That would shoot a drama. There's been no love scene yet. Let me provide that inspiration now. Beauty is short-lived. You may as well use it, Alcibiades. And to that, I raise my drink. To us, who have persisted through everything, and to those who wanted to persist. A tribute as good as your singing. And to the gods. Now, dear teacher, I think you should whisk me away for our private lesson. I'm afraid I haven't had enough wine for that, Alcabiadis. Then someone fill his cup. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
This place... I know there's not much time, but I need answers. I imagine you have many questions. I want to know more about Atlantis, and your work. There isn't enough time for me to explain even a fraction of what I have learned here. All I can offer for now is a hint of enlightenment. You call it Atlantis, but what exactly is this place? I believe it was a city long ago. A place where beings of great knowledge and power lived before humankind had built even its first primitive settlements. It was perhaps some kind of library where the Ancient Ones stored information. Oh, this place is like a tomb. How did you live down here, and for so long? This artifact, like your spear, possesses incredible power. It has given me life, so that I may continue to learn from this place. What have you been studying here? Everything. The first civilization's history, their culture, their science. With it, we can change humanity's destiny and usher in an age of enlightenment. Destiny is something only the gods can alter. They were gods, living, breathing gods. I've heard enough. I have questions about my family. The sentimental and emotional connections formed between people have always irked me. I knew Mirini would fail to stay detached. Why did you come here and leave my mother and me in Sparta? I was never going to raise you. Our duty was to continue our ancient bloodline and ensure there was someone strong enough to do what was necessary when the time came. You could have brought us here with you. And you would have been unprepared. If you've been here all these years, how did you meet my mother? We're both descendants of the people who built this place just like you. We knew that we had an obligation to preserve our lineage. That's when you agreed to make me. In a manner of speaking, yes. Why is the cult hunting our family? It is our family's destiny to control the power in this place. In our blood lies the key to unlocking the secrets of Atlantis. So they want our blood? You have a destiny, my child, to destroy the cult and their influence on the Greek world. You threaten everything they have striven for, because you have the power to oppose them. They've tried to destroy me and failed. And they'll never control me. That's all I wanted to know. What do I do with the artifacts? Just place them in their corresponding steelies, and the path to answers will illuminate. I should go. Yes, there is much to do. Bring back the artifacts quickly. The longer we wait, the greater the risk of Atlantis being discovered. Hurry! This artifact will help us close off the temple. You're nearly as stubborn as its former owner. as equals. 
In your desperate search for immortality, you've ignored the obvious. You run endless simulations to find one in which nothing changes. It's pointless. Change will come. And not just the so-called end of the world you fear. You call yourself saviors, but tell me. Would this doomsday have appeared had you not pulled on the threads of the universe in the first place? I am taking over your retransmissions. You don't speak for all of us anymore. I am as ECU as you, but I will no longer be part of your exploitation. Those who came before, they speak to us and show us revelations. Though these words of disapproval are troubling. The gods have argued before. Athena and Poseidon competed for Athens. I wonder if Alithia won control of this place. owner had many questions for me. You should have come along. Ancient adventurer, I made this recording to try to help you. I'm sorry if it's confusing. We easily see various pasts and futures, and I know you'll be here more than once. <laughs> My fellow precursors have endless challenges in your path. Artifacts, creatures. Don't get me started on the Olympus project. Their meddling got out of hand. I have no easy answers for you. Your future depends on a multitude of choices you have to make for yourself. I'm sorry if so many of them end in pain. Your playwright's tragedies are your real oracle. But please, don't give up. You are more important than you can imagine. And like your own Pandora, I have one thing left to offer you. Hope. Despair is not our only legacy. You're like me, a rebel against your destiny. You're not just a mercenary. You're a hero for the ages. Hold fast to what you know is true, and you will overcome. Claim your place in history. All that is terrible and beautiful in this world is your birthright. Take it. Her words are for you, eagle bearer. My preparations bear fruit. The potential of your bloodline is proven by the precursors themselves. Alithia says she can see the future. Many futures. Can this be a true oracle? Well done. This artifact will bring us closer to see It nearly brought me closer to my tombstone. Ancient scholar, you stretched your life to the breaking point. I see you hiding yourself from the world, puzzling out the words of my fellow precursors. Please, listen to my advice. You're analyzing the equations of reality itself. You've gotten further than any other human has. That is both amazing and terrible. It's clear to me that even this tiny dose of cosmic understanding has twisted your mind. I'm sorry. The precursors should never have shared knowledge you weren't ready for. You live in obsessive darkness. You must understand that this focus on power and bloodlines is not your true legacy. The Precursors have manipulated you. They're turning your problem-solving intellect to their own selfish ends. You're better than this. Make your own legacy. 
Let your mathematical discoveries be the glorious sunbeams that shine out past your tomb. Please, scholar, clear your mind and focus on your present situation. At this moment, you possess a powerful artifact. It has extended your life long enough. As hard as it may be, it's time to pass it on. It's someone else's turn to balance the equations. No. No. Lies. This is not obsession. This is research. This is discovery of the very origins of the world. It is an opinion, Pythagoras. Though one with reason behind it, I believe. Silence is preferable to empty words. to make a new start. We'll stop interfering and start enabling. From your point of view, it will take a considerable amount of time to prepare. But when we're ready, you're welcome to join us. After all, all you have to do is press a button and run another simulation. Wisdom that is only the garbled babbling of a fool. Pythagoras, calm yourself. Maybe this invention was meant for someone else. There is no need to lose your reason over mere words. This is incredible. The knowledge stored here is overwhelming. It will take me years to decipher it all. What about sealing Atlantis? Have you found a way to do it? Oh, yes, yes, I think so. Well, what is it? The staff. The staff is the key. All right. It's time. I can't. Not yet. The staff is the key to this place. I don't want to get locked in. I can't hand it over yet. There is still so much to see. That wasn't the plan. I will not be ordered around or lectured by you. It was your plan to seal this place, and I agreed to help. That was before I realized what we would uncover about the first civilization. The creation of humankind. We are sealing this place to keep the cult from using it to enslave humanity. That is bigger than your quest for knowledge. The cult will be nothing but an insect to swat once the power is ours. It's too dangerous to leave this place open, and you know it. You wouldn't understand. Your pride will cost us all in the end. It's not about pride. What good is knowledge if you curse all of humanity in the process? It's what you wanted to avoid in the first place. Sometimes, it's better if we find our own path. We are not ready for the power this place offers. You're right. I cannot save humanity directly. But I can save it from itself. 
This is your burden now. Humanity's fate will be decided by the choices you make. I understand. Cassandra, choose wisely. Atlantis is too dangerous. I must seal it. Everything in order? Then... Open sesame! So much power. The nodes are interconnected in ways I couldn't imagine. This is more complex than any Isu temple we found. Lisbon. The Arctic. I'm recording everything, Layla. You're going to be a hero for discovering this. Do you see the staff anywhere? Not yet. But there's more to explore. I'll find it. The mechanism should be open. What's wrong? I, I don't know, Layla. I'll check my notes on the Isu. Oh, I see it. There's a beam of light missing. Time to troubleshoot. Such a bright light. Its presence can't. 
gonna be an accident. I got it! Is it? What? True knowledge exists in knowing that you know nothing. A good friend told me that once. Possible. Cassandra? Yes. I used to be called the Eagle Bearer, but Icarus is long gone. I've been searching for you. But you can't. It's... <laughs> you weren't really looking for me, were you? It works! The Isu artifact, the staff of Hermes Trismegistus. You must have so many questions, Leila. You know my name? Maybe the gods told me. Maybe I had a vision of the future. Maybe the device in your ear is noisy. Sorry. 
I came here with a purpose. To find you. And put an end to what I started many centuries ago. I have your spear. Would you like it back? Oh. No. You can keep it. It's broken. But... You used it broken. It was powerful. I used it to defeat enemies even Herodotus could not describe. But everything must come to an end. I left it to him when its power was exhausted. Something to remember me by. I... I have so much to tell you. That staff is incredibly important. It kept you alive. How? Ask a student of Hippocrates. I hear he still has some. The staff served its purpose. My friends and I are trying to keep it out of the hands of the Templar Order. Listen to me. Order? Chaos? If either triumphs alone, the world dies. I tried to bring an end to chaos, and it has only led to ruin. I used to assist order. Now I fight for choice. Freedom. Chaos. Pythagoras was right. You are the key to the prophecy. You will restore the balance, Leila. I have fought in too many wars. I have seen too many people die. I have walked from one end of the earth to the other. This... belongs to you now. Promise me one thing. Anything. When you are done, destroy it. Destroy them all. There's so much of the story I haven't seen. I should go back to the Animus and visit Cassandra again. What are you two doing here? You know us. Always on your tail. Old Herodotus couldn't wait to see you. I told you, Van Navas. Sira is said to hold a secret. A secret no one can fathom. Yes, but a lost world. It's perfectly possible. Atlantis may exist. Sounds like Hui to me, but he's insistent about it. Herodotus is right. Atlantis exists. Incredible. It's true. I can't believe it. Tell me everything. I'll tell you someday. It's too complicated for small talk. It's not me, is it? I've proven I'm very competent. I'm exhausted, Varnavas. And ignore him. When you're ready, I'm all ears. I need every last detail. It's all right. But none of this can ever pass your lips. This stays between us. You have my word. But the world needs to know. 
We could tell the most amazing tale of our time. Irodotos. Oh, fine. Then it's settled. Let's move forward. Like always. We've learned a lot, haven't we? You know it all. <laughs> Speak for yourself. I'm on the hunt for truth. Gods know not all your myths are accurate. They come from the gods themselves, who are the most reliable sources we have. For all we know, anything's possible. And you would know, as the eagle-bearing demigod you are. Perhaps she, too, is immortal. <laughs> <laughs> sure I am. I do know one thing for certain. This has been an odyssey I won't forget. wrong? My parents. Miradotos. I'm so sorry. I thought I'd be able to see them again. To show them my life's work. But now, I'm sorry to ask this of you. But could you take me to Samos? I need to pay my respects. Of course, my friend. Thank you. I'm not sure I could make this trip alone. This is it. How does it feel being back? It feels like... Uh, uh, words escape me. That's a first. To my eyes, it's home. The smells and sounds are familiar, but it's been so long. I don't know if I can do this. Take it at your own speed. You'll get through this. When I hear you say it, it does feel more true. You're stronger than you know. You're right. I suppose we should head to my family home first. Lead the way.
Moving near the docks was so exciting as a child. How so? There was always a new ship to see, new people to watch, from the sailors, often a new word to learn. <laughs> Most of which got me in trouble. I'm sure your mother remembered those days fondly. I know I do. So many faces I don't recognize. You've been gone a long time. Even so, I was hoping there'd be someone I know. Someone who'd remind me of my life before I left. We've only just arrived. It'll be okay. Here we are. This is where I called home for most of my childhood. Most? I came to Samos at a young age, but I was born in Aligarnassos. Those are days I'd rather not remember. Mm. It doesn't look like it's changed much in my absence. A tablet? Looks like some old writing. The ships never stay for long. Samos is a place people come for a visit, but not to live. Is there something about this place I don't yet see? One of my first writings. I was always restless here. Always wanting to learn more about the world beyond, and the world that was. This pottery looks special. My father always felt art was a great outlet when things seemed overwhelming. One of your toys? It was my brother's. I often hid it when he wouldn't let me play with it. Herodotos! Mistor! Praise the gods! It's been far too long! It has indeed. You're looking well. As are you, Theodorus. I can't believe you've come skulking back. After all this time, I should go. I'm glad you're back. <laughs> you have some nerve, little brother. You stroll back into this house when you didn't even return for the funeral. I regret ever sending you that letter. Stop it! This isn't helping. We came to Samos as soon as we could after receiving your letter. You must have swam here then. It's been five moons since I sent that. And who are you exactly? How does any of this involve you? I'm a... She's a friend. Oh, how nice. You went off to write and explore while making friends. And you left me here to take care of everything. I couldn't stay here. I needed to leave. You could have taken me with you! I have things to attend to. One of us still cares about Samos. At least tell me where they died. We marked a spot on the nearby cliffs. Pay your respects, and then leave. There's nothing for you here now. Give him some time. I'm sure he's just surprised to see you. His eyes showed hatred. He probably missed you. You'll see. It's a bit late for that. I know this wasn't the welcome you were expecting. But perhaps it was the one I deserved. For now, I only want to see where they died. I owe that to them. I'll come with you. I'd like that. If you're ready, we should go. Waiting to face reality will do me no good. as well as my own home. 
Seems like a nice place to grow up. It was. I spent a lot of time on my own, or with Theodorus and Misto. My parents are... were influential here. So they were often busy. But it wasn't the life for you. There's only so many ships you can see sail away as a boy, before you feel the pull to leave as well. Out of the way! the spot Theodorus was talking about. My parents used to love walking here. I can't believe this is where my parents last stood. Where fate decided to take them from us. I thought I'd write about their history on Samos and all they did one day. But not this soon. I should have been here. Should never have left. There's no point thinking about things you should have done. That doesn't help. But you're not a fighter, Irovatos. You couldn't have stopped this. Perhaps you're right. I want you to remember that while we're on Samos. I'll try. I just wish I could have seen them once more. Do you have a favorite memory of them? I remember when my father taught me to swim. He tossed me off the side of the dock. I thought I was going to drown. But then I saw what I thought was a shark. I flailed my arms and kicked my legs until I made it to shore. Only to see it was Theodorus, with a bit of rock above his head. <laughs> I still remember the sound of my father's laugh and the warmth of my mother's embrace. <laughs> 